What's up everybody? Keith again. Didn't really go through the parts that I've acquired already for the build. I uh, wanted to show everyone a little bit of what I got, what I paid for it, uh, how far in money-wise I'm already in, and how much farther I gotta go. Uh, since you guys at home can do this too. So I got this Team Z Motorsports K member. Not totally necessary, but it was part of the package deal that I got. It also came with lower control arms with ball joints installed, poly bushings installed. Part of the project, part of the package. Also got the Flame and River rack, manual rack with it. Uh, the steering shaft, stainless steel steering shaft is in there also. Along with that came coil packs and wiring harness, drive-by wire harness, which I'm not going to use, but I can maybe modify and still the plugs off of. Also came with the 6.0 truck manifold. Probably not going to use it. I'll show you why in a second. Also part of the package was strange 10-way front coilover shocks. All that's in the box. I'm not going to take it out because I have to move everything. And I don't want to get dirty at the moment. And here's why we're not using the truck intake. Also part of the package was an LS6 intake manifold. And the main reason we went up was the 6.0 LQ4 out of a 2007 2500. Had 137,000 miles on it. It's got 317 heads. And it is a legit 6.0. Uh, kind of hard to read the numbers on the front, but uh, it looks like it's a for sure 07 model, which just has Gen 4 rods. I'm going to use stock rods and pistons and give them hell. Uh, it also came with the engine stand, which is freaking sweet, even though I already had one back there. Now with all that, we are heading to the track tomorrow to watch some racing. Supposed to meet a guy this weekend sometime. He has a 8.8 I need. Uh, it's going to be only 100 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. It's going to go with uh, those Moser axles that I have sitting right there. I one of the kids likes. Uh, 31 spine. Stand with four lug. That's something else I built. Bought, sorry. Not so, some of the parts you saw there aren't necessary to make this car work and go. However, if you want it to go fast in a straight line, hook down the track. Uh, make a really good 60 foot time. You're going to need them. Some things I don't have. I don't have rear shocks yet. Don't know if I'm going to get real rear, rear springs or not. Maybe just uh, go with some softballs in the rear spring, right rear. Maybe just keep the factory ones in there. Um, I need my computer. Haven't went there yet. May use the harness, may not. I need injectors. Got to get to the junkyard to find a 410 out of a uh, Mountaineer or Explorer. Haven't even thought about that yet because Junkyards around here get picked pretty clean pretty quick. Thought I had found a shifter today. Turns out the guy wants way too much money for it, for some junk. Then it turns out it was a Ford shifter, not a GM shifter. And I gotta have a GM because another thing I don't have is the Turbo 400 transmission I'm gonna use. Other random things like gauges, gauge pod, switches, starter solenoid. I don't have an alternator. Don't have a starter. Bracketry for the alternator. Pulleys, a belt. I don't have a V8 radiator. I have a four cylinder radiator. Some of this thing I'm going to get from the junkyard. So I don't think I'm going to spend a ton of money on it. How much have I spent? Okay, so the motor, K member, mounts with the K member, Flaming River rack, steering shaft, two intakes, wiring harness. I think I already said coilovers. If I didn't, the coilovers and the shocks and the 6.0 motor stand, everything was 1400 That's pretty good. Got about the motors, motor axles. Those were 100 bucks. Grand total of 1500 so far. That's not bad. It's actually really good. 6.0s aren't so easy to come by around here. They get picked up pretty quick, like I said about most junkyard parts. Uh, 
some of this stuff wasn't necessary. So if I had just gotten the motor, if I had have not worried about the K-member uh, intakes and stuff, uh, probably could have knocked about 500 bucks off. However, all of it was together, which is a good deal. I wanted to go fast. I want to save as much weight as I can. The K-member, the control arms, the rack, the shocks. That's all going to help. Um, so, there's a rundown so far. Some other things that you don't have to have, but I bought. I uh, picked up a welder. It's a Lincoln 140. I got it for 50 bucks because I had a broken part, which was the MIG gun. That I've already bought. It's a good deal. I got this air compressor set up from a friend of a friend on Facebook. It's a really nice deal, man. It's super good looking. Still got the plastic on the gauges. Uh, it's hardly been used. He had it in his shop at home. Already had the hose. Um, the engine stand in orange there. I bought that and an engine hoist together. Thought that was a pretty good deal. I paid 100 bucks for those, but not going to include those because these are all things that you probably already have at home or that you'd be resourcing anyway. Also bought that floor jack because I didn't have that thing but this small one here. Stick with me. We're going to be pulling the car over here maybe next week. I really need to get that golf cart sold though. So if anyone knows anyone who needs a golf cart, message me. Anybody who feels like donating anything, you don't have to. But if you want to, it'll go straight to the car, like I said. PayPal will be down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good crap. See you guys next time.